Hey guys, GHUD here, back with another video. Today, I have got another top 10 list for you guys. So I found this rather suiting as of recent events, since Decca took over only a few months ago, tons of new content and skins have been implemented into the game. So because of this, I thought why not make another top 10 list of all of my favorite skins in game currently. Now this won't actually include the uh, 16x16 versions, I only want to include the 8x8 versions, otherwise there would be a lot more on this list. But as per the style of my other top 10 videos, these are in no particular order, so I thought why not start with a classic. So to start all off at number 1, we have the BB Wolf skin. I really like this skin, I don't know what it is about it, I just love the way its mouth opens, it's unique, it doesn't like shoot a sword or a wand, it just shoots from its mouth and I really like that aspect of it particularly. I also like, and this applies to all of the other skins, I like the way it looks from all angles and that is pretty much the biggest key factor for me in liking a skin. So overall, I really do like this skin. If you don't have one, it's definitely worth saving up to try and get one because I really like using it. I still use it to this day. Now, this one is one of the Halloween skins and it is the Imp. The Imp skin for the wizard, I really like. I just like the way it is. It's like hunched over slightly. It just looks a little bit more different when compared to the, all of the other ones. And its staff isn't a staff. It's like a pitchfork. I really like that aspect of the skin. I also like how it has like little bat wings on its back. It's just really, overall, it's a really nice looking skin. We have the mini avatar. Now, this also is similar to the BB Wolf in terms of I like the way that it doesn't shoot like a sword or like a staff and it just like opens its mouth. But I really like the fact that they it's just a miniaturized version of the avatar. And that is really cool. I really wanted this back in the day. It took me ages to save up and get for one, but I was so happy when I did. Unfortunately, it is on a character that I don't use all that often. But I still use it to this day, and it is on my Necromancer currently. We have the Stanley Spring Bunny. This one is such a cool skin. You could get it like three Easters ago or something, and I don't know how I managed to get it. I can't remember if I... I think I did buy it off somebody, but I can't remember exactly. I've had it for so long, and it is for the Sorcerer. I don't actually play Sorcerer anymore. Ever since I got my White Star, that was the last ever time I played on my Sorcerer, and he's still alive to this day. He's like two years old now, which is ridiculous. But yeah, I would definitely use it on the Sorcerer if I ever played it anymore. <laughs> Now, there seems to be a pretty large trend happening here, and it's the Halloween skins, because number five is the death skin for the ninja. I really liked this skin until it was superseded by another skin that I'll talk about later, but the death skin is so damn awesome. It's like you are death itself. You got a scythe and everything. It's just so sick, even though it's not a katana. I really like how it uses the scythe. Definitely an awesome skin if you are planning to play the ninja for long periods of time because it looks awesome. I really like the Jack the Ripper skin for the Rogue. It just looks so nice. I love the little top hat. I like the cloak that opens and closes as you shoot. I like the walking animations. I like the running animations, the shooting animations. It just looks so nice. And because it is on a Rogue, I do like it a lot more because he's fast. He's hiding in the night, you know. It's just so cool. I really like the skin. That is actually the last of all of the Halloween skins that will be in this list, but they are definitely in my high rankings in terms of absolutely awesome looking. Now we're moving on to the more recent skins that have been added by Decca, and they are the miniaturized versions of the set skins. As you know, the 16x16 Geb skin, Pally, Swoll skin, Oryx awesome skin, like you know those things when you put on the set. But the miniaturized versions can be quite cool. So number seven is the mini Geb skin. I really wanted this when it came out, but I really I just couldn't get my hand on it. It dropped from Geb himself as a rare drop, so very, very, very few people actually managed to obtain it. I did not happen to obtain it, which is a little bit saddening, but it looks sick nonetheless from all aspects, and it's on a priest, a class that I like playing quite a lot. 
the Mini Oryx skin. This is the most recent skin to actually come out. I currently don't have it, and I don't plan on getting it because I don't like to put money into the mystery box all that often because I'm just not lucky. But to all of you who do have it, you'll know how sick it is because I love the little horns. I love the shield. I like the color aspects of the skin. Another reason why I will like a skin quite a lot is if it looks good without dyes. That is something that is imperative, especially for the next one, which is Dying Thessal, which will be number nine on this list. The Mini Thessal is absolutely amazing. I don't know what it is about it. It looks great from all angles. I love how it encaptures Thessal, the dying mermaid goddess or whatever her name is. It just looks like her. It's such a good miniaturized representation of the 32 by 32 pixelated into an 8x8. I think it's 32x32. 32 32. No, maybe I'm wrong. It might be 16. Either way, it's a very good miniaturized version of Thessal herself. It looks good from all angles. I love the way its tail flips when you like shoot and everything. It's just so cool. I think we can all agree with that. Just the color scheme of the skin is amazing. It looks good without dyes at all and that is probably the way I'll be keeping it for quite a while. Now, Last but certainly not least is the Jinja skin. This was released, it was one of the first skins that was released in the event chest. And it is a miniaturized version of the admin Jinja skin, which looks like this. So it really did encapture what the 16x16 16 16 version looked like, but it put it in the 8x8 form, which I absolutely love. I have not found another replacement skin for the Ninja, which does not make me feel as happy playing on it. So the Jinja skin for me is probably my favorite for the Ninja, hands down, and I would definitely recommend next time it comes around or next time you have the opportunity to try grind that mofo out because it is such a nice looking skin. I think all of the ones that drop in the event chests at the moment look pretty cool. But anyway, I hope you guys enjoyed this top 10 list. Let me know what your favorite skins in the game are currently, and I'll catch you in the next video. Like, comment, subscribe for more. Peace.